In the short time since wolves were reintroduced to the American West in 1995, scientific research has revealed that they have restored stability in ecosystems. With vast effort and resources invested into the reintroduction of this keystone species, education is the catalyst for change among a new generation of stewards who will be equipped with the knowledge, language, critical tools, and collaborative strategies that can reverse this trend before it's too late. But as a first year, as a grade level, we've engaged uh, information about wolves and wolf conservation across all of our, our core subject areas. The Wolf Conservation Center's Tracks to the Future teaches conservation literacy, developing critical thinking skills to resolve present-day problems which affect the future of America's ecosystems and wildlife. Our collaborative effort is to provide them with information about the wolf and issues related to the recovery of wolves. It's the teacher's dynamic, their participation, in that they're going to be satisfying the educational component in matching that curiosity with the skills necessary to find out the answers to their own questions related to wolf recovery. The curriculum empowers children as educated agents of change in our society on behalf of wolf and wildlife conservation. I guess I didn't know too much about wolves. I, I thought, like, kids' stories made them sound scary as creatures. Interdisciplinary curriculum in wolf education has been designed to provide intermediate and middle school students with the opportunity to learn and master many of the required Common Core State standards in language arts, reading, math, science, and social studies. Literacy and wolf conservation are its core integrating themes. They're engaged, they like it, they um, are responding very well to it. They're learning what we want them to learn about ecology through the example of the wolf. Well, I kind of knew that the stories were true about wolves dressing up as grandmas because that's just weird. They're like a keystone species and like if you remove them again, like everything gets off balance. Overall, the curriculum seeks to enhance students' broad academic achievement. When those numbers came up, you know, and the kids, you know, saw things like 89% of wolves being killed or 82%, or I mean, they know what that means now. They know how close that is to 100 and how close that is to all of them. And it was just really eye-opening to them to see that. Students are afforded challenging experiences that evoke their curiosity and desire to explore further and deeper into content. And of course they identify because wolves kind of live in families the way they do. You know, there's designation of chores and who's in charge of what and the older siblings take care of the younger ones and the, the parents provide the food. So there's a lot of, I think, a little bit of kinship that has evolved, which is wonderful to see in the kids. They feel motivated, they feel inspired, they feel like they should do something. This generation and probably some before us have been like bamboozled into thinking that they, they were bad and I feel like that's not right because they really never did anything to deserve that evil position in our minds. Ultimately, the youngsters learn responsible practices that encourage them to become conscientious citizens in the future.